With mental health on the rise, it's time we start taking care of those in need. Pastor Gus of Fire and Water International Church has one way to help, and that is by loving people back to life. He's joining us today to talk about the power of loving people back to life. Pastor Gus, how you doing? Great. Thank you for having me. And um, and also, I just want to say to the AZTV family over the years for all the support and for helping us get the message of hope um, out to the great state of Arizona. Yeah. And right now, we need it more than anything. We yes. have a recession going on. We have unemployment. We have people who are still recovering from the pandemic. And we're noticing that people have lost love and giving love and support to people back. Yes, you know, I'm a byproduct uh, um, about seven, eight years ago. Um, of, I, I was at a point where I was done. I was checking out. Yeah. It was over. Um, I was so, um, so much was going on in my life, and um, I was um, just ready to give up. Um, at that time, um, um, Sheila, who's my wife now, um, God brought her into my life to speak life into me. Um, literally, she loved me back to life. Yeah. Uh, she did not speak the obvious of what I was going through, but she spoke um, my future, the potential, um, uh, my purpose, my destiny. And literally, she loved me back to life, which f um, brought fuel and, um, um, and it revived me. It yeah. resurrected me to now at our church, our purpose statement is this. Um, reaching the hurting, the poor, the afflicted, the addicted, and the lost, and loving them back to life. Yeah. So that is the heartbeat of what we're doing, and we're seeing great results because basically people remember how you treated them, not how uh, what you've said, right. but how you treated them, and how you've come across. Um, and then if you treat them with you know with love, uh, uh, they'll remember what you have to say. Yeah which is important. But one thing right. I, I love that you said in your notes, it's about, of course, not judging people. Uh, the past, the past, and going if, forward, if you're seeing that they are going forward, don't bring up the past. I'm so love happy. them going forward. That, that's right. You, you know what? It's not the way you start. It's the way you finish. Great champions aren't defined by the way they start something. Great champions are defined by the way they finish something. We're all going to encounter the, the giant of, 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 of failure at one point or another, but it's the way we respond to it. Um, there's so many in the church um, and people that are out on the streets right now that we don't know the whole story. And all they need is someone to believe in them, to love them, to encourage them, to bring hope to them, not remind them of where they're at. They already, listen, you know, don't you know those drugs are going are gonna to kill you? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to check out right yeah. here, you know? It's like, don't speak what, you know, the obvious, they already know that, but speak their future, right. speak some hope, speak some life, speak destiny in them, you know? And it is a powerful thing. Um, if I could just, uh, there's, there's someone yeah. at our church now too, as a byproduct of loving them back to life. Uh, we had done um, outreach, we do many outreaches at our church in, um, in the inner city. And we, you know, feeding, clothing, encouraging. Yeah. Um, one of the ladies there was on the streets. A few years later, she's at our church now, um, um, set free, um, and now she's one of our leaders that's going back out into the streets, loving people back to life. And they that, just need a push. They need someone to believe in them. And that's where it's at, and that's why Fire and Water International Church is opening the doors to people, asking yes. them to come. Um, it doesn't matter what denomination you are. That's the thing about here, that you want everyone to come together. Come as you are. And, and, and the great thing is that, Pastor Gus, you have your own story, so you can relate to this. In a, and it's great that you're sharing that with people, and that's what you want more people to do. You want them to come and have that power of loving people back to life and, and going for it. So yes. um, we know you have services, but you have open doors all the time, don't yes, you? Yes, we do. Um, um, you know, throughout the week, you know, we have Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Monday. Um, outreach is on Friday. The doors are open to everyone, um, and um, it doesn't matter what the back. It, do, it doesn't matter. Where, like I always say, it doesn't matter where you're at right now. You know, yeah. um, um, that we the the trauma center is open and it's ready to go and it's open there <laughs> to it is. everyone. 
Let people know where Fire and Water National Church is located and how they can get a hold of you. It's 1937 East Diamond Street. It's just off the corner of 20th Street and Roosevelt. It's the inner city of Phoenix, Church in the Hood. And <laughs> that's, a, that's how we're known, yeah. Church in the Hood. And um, phone number is 602-257-1937. There it is right there. Pastor Gus, thanks for coming and thanks for being Thank so you. passionate about Thank this. You. And again, uh, we're passionate about making sure people are taking care of the community. So please uh, watch Pastor Gus and, and of course, go hear his message. So thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. All right, come on back. We got more mix right after this.